Okay, everybody, welcome. We're doing a creepy crawly lobby, so that is all the sorts of things you'd find in your garden, like bugs. So um, when you're your turn, please only have creepy crawlies. All food is allowed, you're allowed sloths, etc. Everything from the first tier is allowed, and then it's everything up to worm, everything up to leech, everything up to slug, uh, these two down here, and then fly. So yeah, I'm just gonna buy all of these. You're behind, right? Yeah. I'm gonna freeze that. And honestly, you have that as well. All right, we'll be the jiggly sausages. Ah. No, it's a loss. Pain. <laughs> Fairies in my garden. Yeah, I did include Alchemedes and Fairy. Because, like, that that's a bug. Look at it. It's not like a little person. That is a, that is a bug. So, yeah, I've included this. Um, I don't want to have to buy an apple. Show me a combo or something. Cockroach? I could do. I'm kind of more tempted to just buy an apple for one of the silk moths, though, because I might stick with that for a while. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. All right, so you buff the front. You're trying to help out this guy. It's a little bit messy, but yeah, we'll try. Now, snails, bugs. For the sake of this lobby, yes. It gets way too hard to do lobbies like this if you have, like, really strict rules on things that don't really exist. Because, like, bug doesn't have a set definition. I know that's going to make a lot of people tell me that there is a set definition, but... They're wrong. <laughs> Alright, I'm buying this. I'm doing that. Um, I don't think I want too much else here, but I'm kind of tempted to do that and then stack another one next turn. Because that's, like, a lot of HP. What do I want to do here? I could have you die, and then you jump to the front, and then Silk Moth can work with that. That seems pretty good, but I'm also very tempted to just, like, put that to the front, so then you can buff yourself. Assuming it even works that way, and I'm not convinced it does, so I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to lose. Alright, snail. Ah, I mean, it's better than this guy, so why not, right? Okay, stack that. Let's get the snail out. Stack this, and roll for combos. We have one. Okay, I like it. Um, I am going to try this this time, then, so hopefully Moth can buff itself. If it can't, then hopefully it buffs the thing behind it, but yeah, should be fine. The weakness on that, but it looks like we're gonna get like a decent trade anyway. Reggie, <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, so we have a combo, so that's gonna be for tier four. There's a decent amount of things here, so I'm just gonna do that immediately. Or do I sell snail and buy wyvern just to get another option? I think I'm okay not seeing that, so I'm gonna not waste my extra money. And caterpillar and tiger bug, both good things. More interested in this guy. And I'm actually pretty tempted to sell Mosquito as well, so I can pill better fish, so I'm going to do that. So, let's get you going. Make you very big. Um, I kind of want you to be at the front somehow, but it's just not going to happen. And then, yeah, I think we buy, like, a load of this next turn. So, yeah, you buff yourself, you try and heal it up a bit. If it dies in one shot somehow, then this can jump to the front. Because you're going to jump before that one. So, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. They have a wasp. It's not spooky yet, but they can get kind of, kind of big. Nice. All right. So, avocado. Yes. Maybe buy at the end because I want to buy sell this first. Oven mitts. Um. Yeah. Just like buy avocado and play a silk moth separately. Oh no! I should probably buy it now actually because there's only two things from tier five. So yeah, let's get the combo now. <laughs> it missed anyway. Yeah, fine. I'm going to buy the avocado anyway. Hold on to this, though. Let's try and find a fill. Found it immediately. Flea is pretty good, I think. Don't want to play a flea. I think so. That could be, like, really nice. Like, late game, get this to level 3, mushroom it. That'd be a great front line. 
Especially if I have like spammy snipes somehow. And I'll try and have a proper look at, at the uh, at the teams next turn. I haven't really looked at it yet. Yeah, big fan of this guy. <laughs> Very strong. Could also probably do with some equipment. Alright, so I'm probably just going to pill Blobfish onto here for now. I could like level this up, but again, I think it's too likely to miss. And as much as I'd love to level the flea, I don't think it's worth selling some other random thing for. So, I think I probably do have to have this at the front, otherwise it's going to end up like at the back. So, yeah, we'll have you there. I could have a slug, but I don't want a slug. And, yeah, I'll like buy a cow. We can maybe get rid of the silk moth or something. So, um... I think maybe run it like this. So that's going to die in one hit, but then these guys can like jump in front and start causing some stuff to happen. And I just noticed there's a there's a line down the screen. <laughs> You'll never unsee it. Yeah, we're fine. I do need equipment though. I need to get like garlic on a couple of these things. Or melon maybe. Is it gonna look? Okay. So who am I prioritizing? Is Tigerbug staying? Or should I like buff up Flea? I think I'm gonna start buffing up Flea, because I think this is definitely staying. Then I'm gonna give that to you. And yeah, I'm just gonna sell the silk moth. Alright, we can end on something else. Alright. Something helpful? You? You're scaling. It's not like the best, but it's there. And maybe freeze a banana for it if I'm gonna let it stick around. So, <laughs> I don't know, something like this. It's probably fine. There's all those scary things on that team, but I'm not scared. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I get some levels though? Like, oh, well, there we go, there's one. So that should be tier 6. The only thing at tier 6 is fly, but that could be very good with flea, so I wouldn't mind seeing that. There's a lot of nice things here. And we did find the fly, okay. Dragonfly, Caterpillar, Scorpion, Fire Ant, Praying Mantis. Some decent things there, but I think I do just pick up fly. So I think we maybe say goodbye to this and this? Hold on, say goodbye to this first. Then play that. I might try and like leave these behind. I think I sell Doorhead Ant next turn. I can sell it now and then buy sell and then end on one of these, but I don't really want to do that either. Yeah, just just roll for now. One of those. I have a lemon for it. Okay, that's huge. I might end on double dragonfly next turn. But yeah, doorhead ant has to go. And hopefully this can still jump, because it is gonna be in like the second position. If it doesn't work that way, I may have to move dragonfly much further forward. Yes. So let flea triggers. He lived. Okay. Okay, so Doorhead Ant gone. Um, probably level you as soon as possible, so that's onto there. I can actually level it up. Oh yeah, we just, <laughs> just used the fly trigger. That's fine though. Yeah, I think we I think we level it. Okay, didn't find something else this useful. I could build Mammoth, but I don't really want to accidentally mess this up. I'm going to roll once and hopefully find like a better bug to play. A fairy, sure. <laughs> I can sell it next turn. Alright, let's get the giant eye dog at the front. And you at the back? Maybe leave the lemon? I don't know. I don't know if people are doing many spammy things, but even if they are, it's probably just going to be like getting ruined by fleas anyway. I just need a lot of levels. I need to get stats, and then I need to level up and mushroom my front line. And also move my fly. I'm now noticing that he's actually fine this turn because I built something. But yeah, he'd only get two triggers normally. Yo, the garlic. Huge. Alright. Goodbye to you again. More stats out. And just try and keep you alive, maybe? It's definitely better than nothing, and honestly, the garlic on there is just doing a ton of work. Another flea, yes. <laughs> just buy it. 
Alright, so we'll double flee. Um, I could buy sushi, but again, I really don't want to have to do that, I think. I need levels. Yes, that will also be helpful. Do I put you at the front? Probably. It might help pop a shield or something. Hmm. Unless I just run double. I don't know what my other thing would be. Like, I'm definitely keeping all four of these. And I was thinking about combining those, but then I don't know what my fifth would be. So I could just run double and then try and get one to level three, one to level two, and then have, like, actual equipment instead of a mushroom. Very glad we got the snipe off there so it didn't have to trade horribly. Alright. Yeah, I'm still gonna combine, because yeah, we, we need these guys. So start there, maybe. That is a scaling toy, but... Nah. <laughs> nah, let's just get the television. Alright, so we have television. Slug isn't a bad thing to end on, but... I'm going to keep rolling. Nice. Skewer. Skewer could be interesting. If I'm giving them like a lot of weakness, then if these could survive, then skewer onto there could be nice. Might try that. So I just need to find a mushroom for there. It's not in the pack, but we might be able to get it from a cornucopia. And yeah, zombie fly is a, <laughs> a guy as well, so he can stay. So I'll put it that way though. Ah, but it doesn't eat the dragonfly, right? I still need a level 3. We're missing out on so many stats. Oh, they're screwed. <laughs> There's no way. Perfect. Okay, well, we're definitely going to try and get you to level 3. You're not going anywhere, so I'm probably going to do the same there. Unless I sell a zombiefly. Which I think I will do. Um... Let's see, you die, and then I think you're going to jump in front of it. And then I think when that dies, you're also still going to jump. So I think we still have everything we need here. And yeah, we can combine, buy, sell that next turn. Mushroom. No. <laughs> Alright. Let's make you a little larger. And... Do I need another mushroom? I could put it... Sorry, melon. I could put it on here for now. Because, like, for the moment, it's definitely useful. Yeah, I mean, th honestly, there's no guarantee I'm going to be able to get Mushroom anyway, so... I think Melon on there is going to be more than we can ask for, really. That's a pretty big team. Yeah, I'm going to lose. <laughs> I need more. I need my level 3 already. We could be getting so much more. All right. So I'm still combining here, because I want another one of those. We have HP, so we can afford some potential losses. And yeah, just dump everything onto this. Hmm. There's more. I don't think this is very useful. Yeah, okay, so we just, we just send that. At the very least, by not having some random other thing here, the fly to get some guaranteed stats. And yeah, let's have a little look at what everyone else is running. So Scorpion. I mean, my friend line would trade into a lot of things anyway. They have a... Forgot I had that in the pack, actually. <laughs> the other peanut guy to fill. Hopefully... Yeah, hopefully we can just um, get rid of that or replace its equipment. When this dies somehow. Oh, the skewer, it's huge! Synergy actually happening. Are we getting close to the end of the game? I think everyone's on 2 HP. Except for me. Haha. -ha. If I level that up, then it's not going to get the Dragonfly scaling anymore, which isn't ideal. Maybe just hold on to that. And yeah, honestly, I think we just... We get the stats when we can. Um, let's keep pumping you. Even though you're the only one that's like guaranteed. Then yeah, do this. Hold on to that so I can buy sell. And I, honestly, I might end on another dragonfly next turn, even if it eats the stuff of there, because then I can start scaling up this one potentially as well. I'm not sure how I feel about running a four squad still though. Because I'm not getting that much value out of the buy selling. They're still running a, a cricket. Mosquitoes I can understand because they're like start a combat pop people's important equipment. But yeah. Interesting. No, <laughs> it's so close. 
So close. Any one extra hit on that would have been fine. Alright, so you're all a lot bigger. Buy sell that. Going to buy sell this as well, and then yeah, we're ending on this. So giant eye dog is going to be helpful. Yeah, just just do this, I think. No, I do need to have something forward for the fly. So yeah, I can just leave him here. Come on, I need the level 3. It might be too late for it to matter that much, but I really want it. And then there's stuff like this. They have a near like 50-50 level 3 flea with peanuts. Freaky. And <laughs> triple caterpillar team. I'd be okay against that, right? Like, most of my team is kind of the same in stats. Ouch. Dude, this skewer with weakness, I, I love it too much. It's amazing. Oh, the fly. Again, if I level that up, then it, <laughs> it breaks it. Because I'm still combining there, I think. We're not going to be running this forever. I'm just going to leave the fly. I'm not even going to keep it frozen. And, okay, this is more important. So I'm doing that first. I don't know. I could combine that there. Maybe I could have leveled that up and started on another thing. Because, like, this guy isn't terrible. Like, what else would I end on? I really... <laughs> I'm losing it. I don't know what it would be. Like, it's, it's probably another flea. Just roll. You know what? We're still, like, really far away from having enough stats. So, you know what? Fine. Just have all of it. Whatever it takes. <laughs> this guy can be my, my level one. He's not buffing any level ones, but that's fine. Mm, that doesn't look too bad. It's not. It's great. It's like eight left. Seven or eight. And like everyone's on one HP. Um, again, fairy could be so good. Do I do that as well? We already got two level twos, so yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing this. Alright, so another giant eye dog. Um, maybe roll, see if we can net on something stronger. Fire ants. It is bigger, but I don't know if that's worth actually picking up. The extra attack is barely going to make a difference. I think we keep rolling. Yeah, let's just um, hold on to these, so I can maybe... I'm gonna leave that. But yeah, I think next time we sell that, we buy sell like both of these, and hopefully end on something that's a bit better. Maybe even just like a scorpion if I can. And, ah. Yeah, I forgot that they get to keep equipment now, which makes the... the big things a lot scarier. Ooh, okay. Okay. Fly, caterpillar, caterpillar, flea. I would love another flea, actually, if you can be so kind. Nope. What about fly? Like, at the very least, I can stack it on top, but I can also just, like, shift things around a bit and maybe it'll be a little bit better. Like, how would that work? So you die, you jump to the front... Or maybe we summon first because you have more attack. So yeah, we actually might be able to get more fly value this way. I might just sit on this as my team. Mm, potentially not. <laughs> nah, okay. I don't know. I, I still like buy selling. I don't want to have to commit to one of these yet. Alright, that's a lot of weakness. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. What's the thing there? So you only summon two things there. So like another tiger bug is about as good, so I can still do this without feeling too bad. It's a temporary thing at the very least. Um Yeah, I really don't know. Do I just, like, commit to this, then? We're at the end of the game, so I need to do something. A cherry could be fine for this. Is that or I try and give it, like, some much stronger equipment? 
banana probably actually. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to freeze it. I should have let um let go of the oyster sticks. I think I am just going to stick with this now. And yo, scary front line, but <laughs> we do deal with it. Yes. That was actually a bit closer than I thought, but yeah, it's still safe. Top three. Could Cornucopia stake? Yeah, but I don't even think I've seen Cornucopia for a while. I wanted to Cornucopia Mushroom Ages go, but yeah, that definitely hasn't happened. I think we stick with this. I think we're done. Alright. Only reason why I leveled this up this turn is because I think I am locked in. Would it be nice to buy Self Fairy, but yeah, we really, really can't change too much now. So yeah, lock in. Let's have a final look at the teams. So how big are those things going to be? Like extremely big? <laughs> I might have a like a chance against this one, but I don't know. I'm a little bit more scared of this one. There's a clone. Yeah, see, they have mushroom flea. And wait, did it not overwrite? How does this still have equipment? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I can do against that, but we're, we're in the final two. What was that? I think it's probably over. <laughs> I can like try and level fly maybe, but yeah, let's see. So we can have you go to the front with that. I mean, either way, it's, it's like an improvement if it doesn't get replaced. But like, yeah, it not getting replaced, the odds are pretty low. Yeah, that, that team's just too big. Obviously, it's just because of my one big thing, but I, <laughs> I don't think I'm getting through that. And yeah, I have, like, no equipment this time, so they really did wreck me. Yeah. Alright, fair enough, Sky. <laughs> Terrifying team. I'm really happy with what I ended with, though. Like, this was a nice quad squad for most of the game. So yeah, GG's. Good game, good game. Okay, everybody, welcome. Um, we're doing another old one. We're doing current tier only, which means you can only use pets from the current shop tier. So at the moment, for the first two turns, you can only use tier 1s or token pets. When the shop upgrades, you have to sell or pill everything, and then you can only use tier 2 pets. And you continue like that all the way until turn 11, where you can only use tier 6s. So yeah, every two turns, you have to swap out your entire team. Um, all of those would have been pretty good, actually. Yeah, looking at it, I should have gone for the other... The other squad, I think. Should have bought the horse first, because that would have been pretty good to pivot with. These both have nice sell abilities, so I can use that to buff up my tier 2s. And yeah, if I bought new tier 2s with the horse on the team, then I can get some extra, like, temporary stats too. I win, nice. Alright, so another one of those. Can I get anything else that's kind of useful? Um, Do I sell Mosquito here? Because I'm looking at this, and it's not like I can actually... Like, if I combine those and then double buy, it's not like I sell that for more next turn, and a win doesn't matter at all. So I could sell Mosquito, buy Duck and Horse, and then I get, like, more value, potentially? I don't know, it's weird, but I, <laughs> I think that is the right play. Alright. A loss. Completely fine. Just show me lots of tier 2s now. None. Okay. Okay, at least those two are kind of useful. So, get some value this way. And then we need to try and find more. Yeah, okay. So, it's... I actually can't use the horse properly now. I can sell one, actually. So, yeah, I think we do it this way. Felt weird, but I think that is correct. Then we can have a little chain going here. And there we go. All tier 2, or a tier 2 in the shop, all as well. Now, did anyone somehow cheat on the first turn by <laughs> getting a tier 2 early? But yeah, remember guys, you have to sell everything. We're going to tier 2. Oh god, it's shaky. Alright. My team's good. Okay, Worm and Hedgehog. I think I will take a Hedgehog, and I'm probably just going to... Oh, or I can go for the Worm, because then I get like a... 
a cheap apple next turn, but I probably won't be able to buy it. So yeah, let's just try and not lose. <laughs> so I'll just buy that. And yeah, let's just get another one or something. Put that on one of these for extra kangaroo. Seems fine. Send that. Alright. We're safe. I think. I don't think that's going to be a loss anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Good. But now I have to sell everything again, which means if I don't find tier 3s, we have a problem. We found tier 3s, lovely. And if I find a pill, I might be able to... Yeah, get you could use that of you. Sadly, these aren't like ideal tier 3s, but maybe. Love that. I think freeze, elephant, and yeah, I'm just going to sell you now. Alright. Garlic is going to be huge. I think we buff up the camel for this turn. And yeah, there's the pill that I <laughs> could have used. I should have been looking for that early. I completely forgot that I could have like pivoted pivoted with my spider. If I don't find tier threes, it'd be a problem. It immediately finds three tier threes. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I do think these two are not very good tier threes, but it's still a lot better than not finding anything. And that's why we need more stats. Or better abilities or something. Alright, I think I'm just going to buy both of these here, honestly. Like, do something like that. Yeah, and then we have to sell everything again next turn. Really doubt I'm going to get any use out of these guys, but... Yeah, I think this is one of the first tiers where there aren't really... Pets that are useful for pivoting to the next tier. Because there's a lot of, like, good sell abilities here, or horse, and then here you could, like, pill spider or flamingo onto stuff from a higher tier. But yeah, these are just kind of whatever they are. Oh, and someone had tier 3s. Yeah, I, I can't see now. It's still tier 2s there. Yeah, I was confused for a second. I'm not going to be able to keep track of what other people are doing, to be honest. But yeah, next turn, everyone has to sell up, and then we're at tier 4. Could you use Rabbit in the shop phase one more turn? I could, but it, again, it's going to be the first turn, so I need to spend all my money on like rolling for tier 4s to buy. Because it's not like I'm going to be able to have a full team of stuff anyway, really. Okay, we got the excellent value out of this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. So, yeah, everything has to go. Canned food could be useful, kind of. I'm gonna freeze it, but yeah, we need tip holes, this one. I'm not leveling this guy. There is no reason. I'm not buying the can because we need more things. I'm gonna freeze him, but... Okay, so get rid of all of these. And... Buy the squirrel, because then it'll make the cans cheaper. Ooh. Hold on, this is gonna be four gold, and I can spend six? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense to me. It's not like the best team, though. <laughs> but at least I have a bit of a turtle chain going. That might be helpful. I kinda like this. Like, it's gonna make it easier pivoting in the future. But yeah, I'm getting wrecked here. If it was scary. Do I need the best team if you can build for future? That's if I survived the future, though. But yeah, at least we can make these kind of big. So I'm going to focus on double this, I think. I can't even buy you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was the right play. Like I could have instead just bought this and then rolled a bit for some other thing. More cans to discount, but yeah, I think this is better. So do that so you can't accidentally swallow one of these somehow. And plus we're getting the shield on something better. Squirrel's probably going to be wasted, but... You know, it's not really going to be concerned. We need to look for tier 5s anyway. And let's have another little look at whether there are any cheaters. Yeah, again, pick a tan. Please. And this person. Although I don't think they've changed their team for a few rounds. They may have, like, disconnected. And everything else? The one down here, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, that's a lot of deer. Yeah, I think I'm dead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of deer. Let's see, I have a free pill. That could be good for you. I'm going to leave the pair, though. But tier 5s. Alright, so I'm just going to do this immediately. 
And let's get you out as well. Shark. It's not incredible, but like, it's there. And then these two. Okay, that's pretty good. I can maybe like buy the can and then buy these two next turn. Ooh. Never mind. Okay, we buy can and then we buy these. Not unhappy with that. But yeah, depending on what another person's team is, Armadillo might be really bad. Ah, uh, see, this is a cheetah team as well! Uh. Okay, I didn't lose HP at least, but please, guys. This is getting rough. Okay. Leaving you at the front, then Rhino, and then we can deal with the rest. This is kind of sabotaging Rhino, but that might be okay. And I'm actually going to leave Chocolate, because I need to find like a full team of tier 6s and probably get them equipment before I even bother with leveling, so... Yeah, we can, we can just leave that. You left because you had something to do, didn't change anything, but you don't think anyone lost you. Yeah, if you just like disconnected, then it might not be too bad, but... It also might, because again, if people are pivoting, then half the time they're going to end up with like one thing on their team. If they get a bad roll, so it does kind of matter. But yeah, we also have this kind of stuff going on, which is way worse. Alright, come on, Scorpion. You can do something. Oh. Actually, no, that's amazing. <laughs> Scorpion's incredible. Double Armadillo. Triple Armadillo? That looked like a lot of stats. Alright, Wolverine. I'm going to buy it because it's a thing. <laughs> but I don't know how good that's going to be long term. Gorilla. Cats. Okay, cat's pretty nice. Dragon. I think... I think I don't go for dragon. I do want to get rid of Wolverine, but we can just do cat scaling. Obviously can't use cow, but I can buy sell it, and there's, you know, there's something about that. I'm gonna leave this. I don't have all the things I want to my team yet, and I'm almost definitely getting rid of Wolverine. Found early armadillo, but no scorp. I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's only two rounds, so you didn't need good synergy, but... Yeah, sorry to hear it. So I think we do just have one cheetah team at the moment. That's the other one died, I'm not sure. That's good! I thought I was going to lose. <laughs> okay. Alright, Melon. Melon is... Oh, is Melon nice? Melon on Cat is pretty nice. See, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave this. And I'm just going to buff up both of those. Because I think these stick around. And I rolled the Hedgehog. I was thinking go pill that. But I guess that also ruins the Cat for a while, so maybe we can afford to wait. <laughs> snake. I mean, Snake is fine. Yeah, I think Snake's pretty good. We can hold on to that. Because then we can also have it with the Wolverine, and maybe it's not going to be like a complete waste. It's still not going to be great, because it's worse than just like the snake's own ability, but maybe. Okay. We, we buy, we buy. I do still want to get rid of that if I can, so I kind of <laughs> don't love that we hit that. And I don't know, I want to find like a leopard or something, because that would be a, one of the best things to end on. Or it's another <laughs> one of those, because it's funny. Okay. Nah, alright. Well, that's still pretty good. This is definitely a better team than it was. I just need to get like stats on these three, hopefully get rid of the Wolverine, and then, yeah, we might be going somewhere. That is a very big team. It's actually, like, relatively close, but, yeah. Okay. Buy that. I'm just going to put this on the cat, because we need that to scale. We buy that again. I genuinely don't think it's worth trying to level the gorillas. Like, they're not going to be getting multiple hits off. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I do think having you at the front makes sense here, so we can maybe swap these around. Because there's only, like, a couple of things that might be able to kill that. Or the one cheetah team, really. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, come on. <laughs> they only sniped my, like, my own sniper stuff. But we live. 
We're on one HP, but we are alive. The dragon. We have food here. Okay, well, I'm going to do that. And I'm kind of tempted to hold on to... Yeah, I think we get rid of Wolverine next turn. I think for now, I just like stack that there. And then next turn, we sell Wolverine, buy sell cow, buy cat. And I can double buy milk for big cat value. Um, Yeah. Let's just send that again. I need to be on the lookout for a badger, because I think that's going to be the best way to get equipment onto these two. Because it's not going to like pop my melon if I order things well. Am I being like scaling really well? I was kind of worried that other people would be out scaling me, but... Looking at these teams, I'm actually in a pretty good position. Alright, so, goodbye Wolverine. <laughs> you did great work, but it's worth too much, so let's buff up both of these. And another melon? Yeah, I need to like, get on one of these guys, then we can have this ready for next turn. So I'm doing this, I'm not going to put it on the gorillas, because I'm still trusting that I can find a badger instead. Because yeah, we can always sell this one if it doesn't eat too many stats. Otherwise, we may just have to melt them up. Like, <laughs> don't have too many options. They cost us, they don't get to play anymore. Yep. We'll be looking out for it today. Nothing died. Okay, something died. Uh, not okay, I'm dead. That's a rip. That could have been so good. <laughs> We're going to get so many stats next turn. Oh well. I actually made it pretty far in that one, but... Alright, GG's. I hope people can handle this. They don't have the best team, so like... Might be possible.